Well, hello, Shay here. Today is gonna be a video that I've never done before. It's a first for me, so I'm a little nervous, uh, excited, a little bit of uh, several emotions. So let me just tell you a little bit about this video and what we're gonna do. This is a stash video, and not only a stash video, it's a stash slash de-stash video. So if there's anything that you, sh that you see me show today that you have been looking for, you're interested in, you want, reach out to me. Put something down in the comments saying, I want XYZ painting, and then let's talk about it. And let's see if I can get you what you want. So, or just send me an email. My email's down below in the description, or you can even send me a message on Instagram, okay? I have a lot in my stash. And that's because, let's, let's just talk about my diamond painting journey real quick before we start. So I've been diamond painting since March of 2020. And I found Diamond Art Club in April of 2020. So that's what, two and a half years that I've been diamond painting. I've had my YouTube channel for about a year and a half. So with that being said, diamond painting for two plus years, then plus being a content creator, you know, we want to, you know, show paintings for y'all and uh, show you what's new and out there. So, you know, it, it accumulated over time. So that's why I'm open, open to uh, de-stashing some of them if, if it's something that you really want and that you've been looking for because some of these are no longer available all right so in this video I've never done one before nor have I really watched a lot of stash videos um, I'm not going to open up all the paintings there's just so many but what I will do is just show the tag the sticker uh, you know whatever it has on the box or tube and then um, in the description of the video I'll have all the paintings as many as I can find uh, company name. I'll do it by company, right? I'll show you all by company. Under the company, I'll have the dime painting I showed and then a link to it, okay? So if you want to know, some of them don't say the size or the, the shape, round or square. So yeah, just, you know, I'll show you what I can, uh, whatever is given to us on the packaging. And then if you're interested in it, uh, just look down in the description for the link, okay, for more information on it. All right, y'all, shall we? All right, I'm excited. So I'm going to start off with Craftably. That's because they're my favorite. And if you're new to my channel, you might not know, I am an Craftably affiliate. So what that means is I love them and um, I do have a discount code. So if you're a new customer to Craftably, you can use my code SHAY20, S-H-A-Y, I'll pop it up on the screen. So SHAY20, and then you'll get a 20% discount. If you're a returning customer to Craftably, I do have a referral link in the description. And if you use that, uh, that really does help me. And, you know, I, I could earn a small commission and it goes right back into the channel. And so does the discount code if I earn any commission off of that. So both of those things being said, uh, very, very much appreciated. Never, no obligation. You don't have to. It's just a way for you to save some money and, you know, for me to put some stuff back into the channel. So yes, so just, and I love them and I love to show their products. So we're going to start off with Craftably. Now, before Craftably started with telescoping art tubes, with the purple tubes, they used to have white tubes. So we're gonna go old school. We're gonna go way back, okay? Because I have two white tubes and we're gonna start there. Now, there's, these are not in any particular order. I just grabbed everything from my closet and just kind of laid it all out by company. So here's the first one we have. This is Shine and it's a 24 by 32 in inches or 61 by 81 in centimeters and it is a round. Craftable used to put a little round dot right there and it is licensed artwork from Sarah Burrier. Now, I did forget to tell you all the paintings I will be showing you today are all licensed artwork, okay? I won't show anything that's, that's not licensed. All right, and everything's poured glue as well. So yeah, Sarah, Sarah Burrier, beautiful painting. This is Holiday Tree Farm, 32 by 24 inches or 81 by 61 in centimeters. And you can see from there, it's got the little square or the diamond, if you look at it that way. Um, this is licensed artwork from Daniel Rogers. And you see those that family picking out their tree. You got the snowman, I love this. All the lights up above, the wreaths, the purple tubes, okay? So first they started off with purple tubes and then they went to some other colors. So right now we'll just look at the purple ones. This is Wild Generations Giraffes and it's by Carol Caballeris. Beautiful colors in the background, love this one. So if you're a giraffe lover, yes, you might want this one. 1001 Nights. Licensed artwork by Alina Lavariva. Beautiful. All the colors in these are just so vibrant. This is Awakening at Dawn. It's from Mark Dalen. Gorgeous. The blues and all the... Oh, craftably has got some gorgeous landscapes. All right, next we have Ashina Pike. And she has several of these girls. This is Butterfly Collector Brielle. 
and this is round. Love her. She's got butterflies all over her. Purple, pinks, corals, gorgeous. I love this one. This is Angel Falls, and it's by Dennis Lewan. You see the house there with the falls. There's a bridge. There's a looks like a couple of people on the bridge. 2169TC. It's licensed artwork from Anthony Casey. It almost looks like a like an image from like Hawaii. Like, you know, the sunset, you've got the purple skies. Love this one. Gorgeous, gorgeous, especially for this time of year. This is called, called Autumn's Golden Moments. It's from David Roddinghouse. You've got the pumpkins out there in the grass. You've got the farmhouse. You see the barn back there. There's a farm truck. Hopefully it's focusing for y'all to see. Oh, I love this one. You got the dog, the little boy out there. Yes, gorgeous. This just speaks fall to me. This is a light after the storm and it's from Jody Bergsma. Look at this. You've got the lighthouse with the girl walking up to it, all the clouds. I've seen this one completed and it's gorgeous. Okay, another landscape from Craftably is Johnson's Mill. It's from Mark Dalen. You can see the mill back there with all the gorgeous autumn fall leaves and trees and grass. Oh, I love this one. Gorgeous, love, love, love it. And it's Chroma Flower. It's one of the smaller ones. It's a 12 by 12 in inches, it is a square, and it's a Shutterstock image. So that's what's inside this tube. Ooh, yes, Magic Happens by Jody Bergsma. Y'all, look at this one. It's got the beautiful fairy sitting on a mushroom with the moon behind her. Oh, I love this one. Beautiful colors. <laughs> Craftably started coming out with different colors. So this is one of their seafoam green. It was like more embossed on the tube, not printed. This one is another holiday one. And this is Santa's Night Off. It's from Daniel Rogers. And it's a 36 by 18 in inches. You see Santa reading the newspaper. He's got his dog. He's sitting by the fire. Oh, so cute. It's Black Hole in the Milky Way. And it's from Tanya Shetziva. And it's a 24 by 24 in inches. And it does have the round diamond, so it's a round. Look at her with all the planets. I've seen this one completed and it's, Randy, you can call me butter, has finished this one. And she added so many ABs and crystals. It looks so good. Oh, another Sheena Pike. This is Tiger Loving Tessa. And it's a square and it's an 18 by 24 in inches. She's got everything tiger. She's got the tiger coffee cup, the purse, the tiger like up in her hair, <laughs> tiger glasses. Oh, I love this. You've got the purple in there, all the orange. This would be a fun one to do. Here's another one by Tanya Shitsiba. And this is Escape from Eden Symphony 4. And it is a round. It's a 28 by 20 in inches. Look at her. Those two, those two side by side would look really good together. They're good companion paintings. The pink, I love the, the, the turquoise in here and her hair. Yes. Sunset Crossing. It's from Will Cormier and it's a 24 by 36 in inches and it is a round. You've got the two cliffs with the bridge on top and you see the ship under the water and the sunset. Oh, this one's really nice. Really, really pretty. And our last tube is Be Brave and it's from Sarah Burrier. Gorgeous, I'm like mother and daughter. Look at this, y'all. Looks like they're under the water. All right, so that's it for tubes. Now this is one of their new ones, okay? It's one of their new boxes. This is one of the smaller ones. I haven't unboxed this yet, so y'all may have not seen this one yet. This is uh, a new one, and it's Faces of Fairy, 84. It's a Jasmine Beckett Griffith. It's a 16 by 16 in inches, and it is round. Look how cute she is with the purple and the blue, and she's almost got like purple eyes, little pink lips. Oh, I love those blue flowers. Yeah, this one's a great size. Not, it's not too big. This is Winter Blossoms. I unboxed this recently. And it's, a, it's from Joe Perry. And it's a 20 by 20 in inches. And it's a square. Yeah, this one's really cute. This would be great for the holidays. So some of these you're all seeing for the first time from me. Of course, it's a mermaid. Follow the Current from Sarah Burrier. 40 by 18 in inches. And it is a round. It's got round diamonds. Now, if y'all are new to my channel and you just kind of stumbled upon this video, um, I love mermaids. 
So you might see a few mermaids in this video. I'm surprised this is the first one so far. <laughs> there, there will be quite a few. So just work with me here. Love, love these mermaids. Very familiar. And it's from Kara Ann Aldridge. It's a 22 by 28 inches and it's round. It's great for Halloween. Love that with her and her cat. It's another one, great one for spooky season. This is Crescent Moon and it's from Warm Tail, 24 by 24 inches and it's a square drill. Love that castle with the moon and all the orange and yellows and all the lights in the castle. All right, this is a smaller one. And yeah, it's only a 12 by 18 in inches. This is Mermaid 2 and it is a round drill painting and it's from Lisa Marino. And it's a really small kit. See, here's the box, that's it. Like I said, it's just a little small one, a great snack size painting. It's got this beautiful mermaid with the starfish and the coral, some shells. Rainbow Daydream Mermaid from Sarah Burrier. It's 24 by 32 in inches and it is a square diamond painting. Look at her hair. Oh, I'm so excited about this one. This one's gonna, I, hope, I don't know. I don't know if I'd let this one go, but y'all just let me know if there's anything you see. Cause some of these you cannot get anymore. So I'd love to share the love. All right, let's get back to it. Now, this is gonna be Distracted by Diamonds portion of the video. Now, Distracted by Diamonds did start off with having a black box, okay? With their great little sexy girl here. This is Saltwater from Distracted by Diamonds. Look at her. It reminds me of Ariel, got the Ariel vibes. I've seen this completed and it's really, really pretty. And another one from this artist. This is, great question. The name's not on here. Uh, message in a bottle? I might be making that up, y'all. I'll have it listed down below under Distracted by Diamonds if you're interested. It's a square and it's 52 by 70 in centimeters. Then they moved to purple, kind of pink purple boxes. This is called Deep. And it is licensed artwork from Christina Belikova. And it's a round and it's a 62 by 87 centimeters. I love the colors in this one. It's almost like she's got like lilies in her hair, like these bubbles. I just thought she was so pretty. Yeah, I love this one. And then I have another purple box from Distracted by Diamonds. This is an Alphonse Mucha. Now he does have different seasons. I don't have any others. I just have spring. So this is Spring by Alphonse Mucha, 1900. This is a round and it's a 123 by 52 in centimeters. It's probably, yeah, I think it's the biggest diamond painting that I have in my stash. I don't know what I was thinking, but I did it. Got to get a big one, y'all. I think it was the green dress that got me. I love green. She's gorgeous. And I've seen this one finished too and it's really pretty. This is Frosty Romance. It's a round and it's a 60 by 94 in centimeters. You've got Frosty and his little girl, his girlfriend, ice skating. This actually was a, um, I think a vintage holiday card that was able to be used. Okay, so that's what I have from Distracted by Diamonds. I've got three Mary's Diamonds. Voila, three of them. This one's upside down. There we go. I've got three Mary's Diamonds. All right, so let's start off with this one. This is my name. I did an unboxing of this. Y'all, you can do customized, personalized diamond paintings. Yes, and I did Crafting with Shay, and it's kind of the, the pop art look. See, it's got the clouds, and you get to pick the colors. Let's see, there are 29 colors, and it is a 80 by 40 in centimeters, and it is a round. I remember this one. Yeah, look at this one. It's a close-up of a mermaid under the water. I think it's a mermaid. You can see her hair. Yeah, that one's really nice. And this is a 48. It's got 48 colors. It's a 50 by 60. And it is a round. And there's the colors. Okay, we've got one last Mary's Diamonds. And we don't know what it is. I'm thinking it's a Halloween one that I got last year. Oh, it is. Y'all check this out. I started working on this and I did not finish it because Halloween came and went, but it is super cute. I might, you know what? I might work on this a little bit more this year, but it says, it says happy, see it's got the pumpkin, happy Halloween with a little like skeleton fingers, trick or treat. Yeah, I worked all the way up to here. So I did all of this down here. My favorite part of this is the candy cane, right? Nothing says Halloween like a, like a candy cane. 
the best part of this painting, y'all. I need to finish it. It's so good. So yes, that's my other Mary's diamonds. Okay, let's do some Die Moon Shop. What do y'all think? Die Moon Shop sounds good. My first one, This is, they used to come in like, if you're not familiar with them, uh, like wrapping paper, almost like a gift, okay? And this is what would be over them. Let's see what this is. This is Christmas by Cherokee. Isn't she cute? She's got a big bow in her hair. She's got like a doll. It's like Christmas morning. She's got like a Christmas dress on. She's got a bunny. It is a 40 by 59 and it is round and it has 30 colors. So not very big. I'm so glad they, and it's a round. I'm so glad they have boxes now because I didn't really care for, because it's hard to store these, right? Without a box. And again, no box. Just kind of wrapped up in, you know, with a rubber band. Love this one. I've seen this one completed. Y'all probably seen this one before. Look at this mermaid. Okay, so she is around. And this is Anderson's Little Mermaid. It's a 50 by 77, and it has 45 colors. Very nice. So it's got a little walking legend inside with the package drills. Yeah, love this one. Sorry about the glare, y'all. Yep, love it. She's gorgeous. See, she's got the coral. She's like underwater. It's so pretty. It's very like vintage, kind of antique looking. But I really do like these boxes. These are some special enhancements I got. So this is, I was seeing, oh, here we go. I don't need to open it. There's a sticker on the side. Perfect. I don't want to keep y'all here all day. All right, this is a poppy. I don't know if y'all can see this. It's kind of hard to see. There we go. It's a 45 by 59 centimeters and it's from Cherokee and it's poppy. All the different mermaids have different flowers around them and it's round. I did unbox this in August. Isn't she pretty? She's so pretty. And the other one I have not unboxed yet. It's another mermaid. And this is another Cherokee. They're the exact same size. They're 45 by 59 centimeters round. This one is Daisy. I believe. I really wish they put the name on here. It would make things a little bit easier, but that's okay. Let's go to crafties. I have one crafties. I've completed a couple. Uh, let's see, is there a sticker on the box? No. Now this one's got glow in the dark drills, I believe, if I remember right. Yep, and it is a, yeah, I'm gonna just get it. Yeah, this one's really, really pretty. I like crafties because of their size. They have some smaller, crafties has smaller diamond paintings. Look how gorgeous this beautiful lady. This is a Sybil Art. And it's not very big, just like a little panel. See, she's not that big. It's a cute little size. It's a 35 by 55. And it's got 18 colors. And it's got the glow in the dark. Yeah, so this is called, here's the sticker, it's Harmony by Sybil Art. She's really pretty and it's round. All right, so that's that one. Diamond Painting Shop. Okay, let's let that be our next one. They are based in the US, so everything comes really, really quick if it's not a pre-order. They've got, this is a huge box. It's a lot bigger than the painting. They even admitted that the box is a little too big for it. But what I love about it is they do have a sticker on the end. So let's see if y'all can see. This is a gorgeous mermaid. See her, she's on the rocks. There's a, like a ship in the background with the moon and the clouds. Love her. She's got some seashells in her hair. 67 by 95. It's a big one. So I haven't worked on this one yet. And I have one more from Diamond Painting Shop. This one was one they sent me. Actually, they sent me both of these for review. So this one is a uh, 50 by 70 in centimeters. And it's called Strelitzia, I believe. Stir, Strelitzia. Yeah, we're gonna go with that. And it's from Serena. Beautiful, I really love blues. So I thought this would be really pretty like in a kitchen. It's kind of some of my decor in my house is that royal blue. It's got the fruit bat, the fruit bowl, candles, you got the flowers, like the birds of paradise. Yeah, I like this one. So those are both dime painting shop. And I've got a crystal canvas art. Let's switch over to them. Crystal Canvas Art is a diamond painting with all crystals. Again, licensed artwork. Here is a picture, I kind of have it just sitting on the box, of a mermaid. It's a 50 by 60 in centimeters. And I'm trying to remember the artist. Let's just crack it open, y'all. Shall we? Why not? Take a little tour. 
This is from Demetrius Karakukis. Kukis. Yep. And there she is. You get the thumbnail right there. And there are, see how many colors? 34 colors. Beautiful mermaid. Lots of pink. Again, kind of an antique look. And it's all crystals. Let's see the, the bag of crystals real quick. Oh, yeah. Look at all the crystals. Wow. The shine on this. I've actually never completed one of their dime paintings. I have purchased two, I gave one away, and then I kept this one. So I need to work on this. Y'all, this really gives you a chance to see what you have in your stash and to decide like what you need to work on or what you have, because you kind of forget. All right, so that's it for Crystal Canvas Art. So go check them out. Or Loa. Now this was, this was a Christmas present from my best friend, our best friend Randy, who's on YouTube is You Can Call Me Butter. Got the Orloa box. This is a Hannah Lynn. And let me show y'all. Maui Mermaid. Look at this. She's a big one. I've seen someone work on that. It's apparently very, very confetti heavy. And it's a big one. I don't know the size, but I'll have it linked down below. Gorgeous. I'd like to get to her one day. She's just so big and a little intimidating. This comes to us from Mystical Diamond Art. This is a Josephine Wall, which is also known as J-Wall, and it's called Space Maid. You see it's a mermaid, and it's a 60 by 80 in centimeters. Isn't that cool? It's the only one I've ever ordered from them. All right, the next one I have is from Enablers Outpost. This is one of their first dime paintings that they ever came out with, so it's, it's, got, it's been around for a while. This is, I think she's called Lollipop Girl. It's a 50 by 50 in centimeters. Love all the bright colors. Love her makeup, her earrings. Yeah, I need to work on her. Love it. So this is one of their first generations they came out with. Wanted to support them. So Enablers Outpost. All right, y'all, let's do Dreamer Designs. I've got one, two, three, four Dreamer Designs in my stash. They do have the purple boxes. Voila. It's got Dreamer Designs. All right, again, love the holiday paintings. Here we have another one. This is Sweet Snowman. It's licensed artwork from Jane Madej, and it's an 80 by 60 in centimeters. How cute is that snowman? Oh, I'm a sucker for snowman too. All right, then we have, this was a gift from Emeralds and Fairy Lights, because we did an event together. This is from, it's Patience, and it's from Reagan Kubitschek. And it's a 40 by 60 in centimeters. Beautiful purple mermaid, I love her. So yes, love that. And then we have another Reagan, another Reagan Kubitschek. This is Jasmine. What I loved about this is her braid, that fishtail braid. And it's a 40 by 16 centimeters. So they're not huge. They're good sizes. These would look really good next to each other. Are they both the same size? Yeah, they're both 40 by 60s. Wouldn't those, those two look really cute together? I like those. And then the last one I have from Dreamer Design, and it's the only Curtis Reykjavich that I have, is Miss macaron or macaroon depending on how you say it 60 by 80 in centimeters love this one a little dark got a dark background but yeah i had to get a Cur curtis reykjavich she's holding she's got the macaroons or macrons macrons mm -hmm. how you say it, all right y'all i have two from jaded gem shop shall we now my first one i ever ordered from jade was now Jade's got the, if you've never seen them unboxed before, it's kind of like a negative, like photography negative effect. And this is Lady Absinthe. And it's 50 by 55 in centimeters and it is by Henry Clive. Let me show y'all if you can see. It's this beautiful woman. Now again, you kind of just step back. Oh, I'll just show you the image on here. That'll help you. So here's what she looks like. She's beautiful. Love this. And then of course there's a sticker in here. Here's the legend but you can see her face right here. You kind of step back, there's her nose. Yeah, there's her lips, see that? But the, but the image comes together as you work on the diamond painting. So I have that one from Jade, there's lots of greens. Can't wait to work on that one. And then my other one from Jade is a mermaid. And that one is in this box. And I wrote on the box, it's a Carla Rodriguez and it's called Inspiration. Let me show y'all this one real quick. These are like fast unboxings. 
Here it is. I'll just show you all the thumbnail in there. Look at this gorgeous mermaid. It's like pinks. It's like watercolor. Purples, pinks, blues. So pretty. And it is a... How big is she? Um, I don't know. I have it listed down below. I think she's still in stock. Okay, so that's it for Jade. All right, that's all we have for companies other than Diamond Art Club. Next will be our Diamond Art Club segment. I don't know if I have, I probably have more craftably than I do Diamond Art Club, but it's probably close, but I think I have more craftably. Um, I did the heavy at the beginning and we're gonna do the other heavy one at the end. So stay put, I'm gonna uh, make room and I'll be right back. All right, let's work on some holiday ones, shall we? Now I got these from Hobby Lobby. And you can see here, originally they were $59.99, uh, but I got these on sale. So this is Starry Night Santa, and it's licensed artwork from Donna Gelsinger. It's a 42 by 57 in centimeters, and it is a square. Yep. Look at that beautiful Santa in there. It's got his reindeer, and they're looking up at the star. All the snow. Yeah, I love this one. These are great sizes, too. You can see they're not very big. And then another one that I got from Hobby Lobby was Christmas Delivery. And this is by Susan Wingett. And it's a 51 by 51 in centimeters. Got all the puppies in the truck. You got the, the red wagon, the red truck with the Christmas tree. And this is a square. So another Hobby Lobby one. And then the third one I got was a snowman, of course. It says Let It Snow. So it's Snowman Let It Snow by Susan Wingett. It's a 51 by 51 in centimeters and it is a square. So all these were squares. But again, I got these from Hobby Lobby. I wonder if they're gonna carry them again this year. No. And here's another holiday one. I consider this holiday. This is an older one. This was before I even had a channel. She still has the plastic wrap on her. This is the Sugar Plum Fairy. It's a Mandy Manzano and it's a round. It's a 56 by 89 in centimeters. So pretty. So yeah, this one never got unboxed. I've never even opened it. So pretty. And then, y'all, I'm doing all the holiday ones. I got this from a D stash. So this is the Nutcracker. It's a Hannah Lynn. It's a square with ABs and it's a 51 by 71 in centimeters. Look at her big, beautiful eyes. She's holding the nutcracker. She's got the Christmas tree behind her. I've been looking at this one for a very, very long time. So I'm glad I was able to grab it. And several of these I bought from D stash groups for my friends too. Here's another one I got from a D stash, a friend's D stash. This is the Little Mermaid, Mandy Manzano. It's a 52 by 73 in centimeters. Love this one. The only thing I'm not sure about this one is she doesn't have a face. That's the only thing I'm like, mm, I don't know. Another one I got from a friend's D stash. This came from uh, this came from Mrs. Coffee's D stash. It's the gingerbread house. Look at these cute little gingerbread men and his dog. It's a round and it's a 76 by 56 in centimeters. And it's by Rosemary Berlin. So cute. I love that one. Another mermaid. Now this is from Simona Candini. I love her artwork. This is Mer Alice in the Sea of Tea. It's a square and it's a 56 by 74 in centimeters. You've got all the Alice in Wonderland features in there. And of course she's in a teacup and it says, eat me, she's holding a cookie. That's so cool. All right, this was a gift. Off to see the wizard. This is the Emerald City. And it's a square, and it, okay, it's a 76 by 56 in centimeters. I have this kitted up, but I have not started it yet. I did host with Lisa, the diamond art nurse. So we hosted Oz and Og. So I'm hoping to do that again next year, and I'm gonna work on that then. All right, this one is by Ann Julie Aubrey. It's called Talisman. And Talisman is a round. There's a 51 by 66 in centimeters. I just thought she was so pretty. And I love all the flowers. Right, so we got that one. The next kit is another mermaid, of course, the Oracle. It's a square and it's a 56 by 71 in centimeters and it's from Amy Brown. Look at that. It's got the little seahorses, sea dragons. She's holding one of them. I just love the colors in these. Next one is another mermaid, of course. This one I bought, my husband got me a gift card for my birthday two years ago. And with the gift card, I bought this painting. The, I don't know how you pronounce this one, y'all. The Serene Siren Trafficta, Trafficta, I don't know. It's a Mandy Manzano. 
it's kind of a biggish one. It's a 99 by 55 in centimeters. It's almost like three panels is the way it's, it looks to me. And I've seen this completed and it's very, very pretty. So hopefully I'll get to that one day. We'll see. All right, I recently bought this one. It's one I've been looking at for quite some time and it came back in stock. This is Sakura Festival. It's by Yumi Art and it's a 95 by 65 in centimeters. We lived in China for three years and we traveled to Japan during the Cherry Blossom Festival. And this really reminds me of that. So I grabbed it. All right, y'all, the next kit is another one I got from a friend's D stash, The Good Witch. It's a Hannah Lynn. Thought it'd be great for a Wizard of Oz event. It's a square and it's a 56 by 79 centimeters. Look at her. And I've seen this one completed and the colors are so bright. All right, another one I got because of the cherry blossoms. I got cherry blossom. You see that? It's a round and it's a 62 by 50 in centimeters. Beautiful watercolor painting. And this is by Maria Gubar. Okay, I'm gonna start moving some on this side because I'm running out of room. Okay, now this one is not for sale. This one's not going anywhere. This was my unicorn. I just recently got this from my friend's D stash. Thank you, Steph. And it's something about her. I've been looking for this painting for over two years. It's a, uh, I can't believe I have it. I can't believe I'm holding it. It's a square with ABs and it's a 76 by 56 in centimeters. And it's very, very hard to find. It's very rare and it is discontinued. So this one's definitely not, you know, but I wanted to show y'all. I can't wait to work on this one. So you've got Ariel and Prince Eric in the boat. Oh, love the water. You know, Mandy Manzano's got that same glass look. Speaking of Mandy Manzano, we have another mermaid from Mandy. This is New Friends. This one came out not too long ago. It's a fairly new one. It's a square, 56 by 56 in centimeters. I thought it was so pretty. I love all the pastels and kind of the neon colors. Yeah, looking at all these again makes me want to work on them all. Another Mandy Manzano mermaid. <laughs> Y'all, there's so many. This is Matchmaker's Maze by Mandy Manzano. Square, 65 by 65 in centimeters. And you've got a couple mermen, and you got the mermaids, and all the flowers. Very, very nice. Very nice, very nice. And another mermaid, but it's not by Mandy Manzano. This is Sarah Mustafa. Mustafa, sorry. I'm sure I pronounced that wrong. Mustafa, yeah. It's a square, 56 by 56 in centimeters. She's very pretty. Love her. I told y'all about a few, few mermaids. And I just bought this from a friend's D-stash. Off to see the wizard. It's another Mandy Manzano. It's a square and it's a 42 by 58 in centimeters. This one's also hard to find. So thank you to my friends that always alert me to things I might be interested in. Y'all are the best. Um, is that it? Oh my gosh. That's it. We did it. Ta-da. Are y'all tired? <laughs> it's a lot. Um, I'm so happy that I got to look at all my paintings again. I would definitely encourage you to do that, whether you're a creator or not, just to look back at what you have and maybe you've forgotten about something and you can start working on, you know, something that's kind of been hidden in the back. So um, again, let me know if y'all are interested in any of these, except for something about her. And I will, um, yeah, let's talk. I'm open to suggestions and to, you know, I have a lot, so I'd love to share it with y'all and I love this community. So I'd love to share the diamond painting love. Okay. All right, y'all, that's going to be it for this video. And uh, if you enjoyed this, please give me a thumbs up. They really do help. And then if you have not subscribed, it is free. There is a subscribe button down below. Just click on that and you'll be part of my world. And then if you want to be notified whenever I post any new videos, there's a notification bell right next to that subscribe button. Click on that and click all, and then you'll be notified whenever I post anything up. All right, I'm going to get out of here. Um, thank you all so much for coming on this diamond painting journey with me. It was like going down memory lane, like almost looking like an old, old photo album. So fun. Um, whew, that's a lot. I, um, I don't even know how many I have. I didn't count them, so it doesn't matter, right? Little, big, stashed, it doesn't matter. It just matters that, um, you know, we all love this craft. We all love the same thing. And I was very, very, you know, thankful and, you know, honored that I get to, you know, show you the ones that I've purchased and the ones that I love. So, all right, y'all, I'm going to get out of here. Love you so much. Uh, take care and uh, I'll see you in the next one. All right. Bye guys.